What are you talking about now? <laughs> I'm just saying that looking at all the sailboats, all the sailboats are pointing at us. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the bottom right there. I know how to fix that! Give me that duct tape! <laughs> There's a tight squeeze getting out of here. Whoop, whoop. What are you talking about now? <laughs> I'm just saying that looking at all the sailboats, all the sailboats are pointing at us. And then the other ones are pointing yeah. at me. Yeah, and it's like, they're we're the there. Dallas was pointing at us. And we're like, us. huh? Everybody else is pointed at us. Like, like we're the one, we're the troublemakers. Look, see? Even the park rangers coming by to double check on us. See? So yeah, you're the weirdo. <laughs> right? They'll get to the Bahamas in like an hour. That boat is moving. And that's a long way out too. That's crazy. And that's way out there. <laughs> way out there. Dude's coming by for a second pass here, but he's a little bit closer this Literally time. Literally has to be flying. That is insane. <laughs> So we got us a ball here for the night um, so that we could use the facilities, water, all that good stuff. So the other thing that's creepy about this place is that, uh, and, I'm, and I forgot how weird it was to see the bottom. So yeah, you can actually, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the bottom right there. So. Yeah, that's the bottom right there. It's kind of scary when you're looking at it when we finally get in clearer water because you're like, okay, so it says we're in eight feet deep water. <laughs> Good news is if I drop something, I'll be able to find it. So yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here today. This morning, uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start. That's mostly our fault. Uh, we slept in a little bit. Uh, we had a few too many sundowners last night and went to bed kind of late watching uh, some TV shows and stuff watching our trash TV so today we're just gonna chill I'm gonna fill up the water tanks again just to make sure that they're good to go we'll move over to no name so that we'll get a uh, about an hour and a half head start tomorrow morning when we leave so today would have been a decent day but there's gonna be a lot of motoring involved so we're not really that upset because we don't really like motoring we just kind of want to go. There's nothing else for us to do here. So we're literally just kind of waiting on the weather for a good window to just sail down and we don't have to worry about it. So we're going to get ready to head to um, Rodriguez tomorrow. We have a pretty good weather window. Today was supposed to be really rough, rainy, wet, gross, ugly, just bleh. As you can see over there, you can't even see the Miami skyline anymore it's raining over there somewhere so madeline nailed it i account that to my embroidery skills to be able to grab that hook because <laughs> it was not on the ball it was just dangling around super tight <laughs> mooring field yeah so the squalls were starting to come in so the wind is at its highest the current is pushing us towards the shallow part. <laughs> so I just let Patrick handle the boat. I'm like, okay, my job is not to drive. My job is to catch the pendant. He knows the general direction. So I just concentrate on the pendant and um, we did it. One, once I saw a part, you know, um, I did it. 
So we, when we first got the boat, one of the things that we got was a special boat hook that loops it for you. Um, it was kind of pricey, super pricey for a boat hook. Um, since uh, to give you an idea, a boat hook, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks. 20 bucks, and ours that, cost us 130. Yeah, <laughs> the, the one that loops itself, which we thought would be easier, um, it was a lot of money compared to a $20 boat hook. However, what we found out is that the eyelets of the mooring balls are all different sizes and this one was too big. So we only stayed in a mooring field three times. One of them, it, it required us to have our own eyelet and, and connect to the bowl. The other one, the what happened with the one in Gulfport? Oh, we didn't they had, use that bow hook for a reason. Yeah, they had the the way that their um the way that the the hook the where you catch the ball and put the lines through the way the pendant was the it was actually only like this big around but it was like that thick so it was like yeah, that it, thick like I couldn't after. put the hook it part wouldn't hook all the way around it. it. It would just, you would put it on and it gets stuck. And yeah. then you're like, oh crap, now what do I do? <laughs> and now I have a, a, a wet line on top of that. So right. it's more slippery. And this time it was easier with the regular boat hook. So I'm not saying that we wasted money because we didn't know what we didn't know. But that was one of the things that probably we could have waited to buy yeah. until we were somewhere else. For sure. noted but good job put that in my <gasps> and yesterday we had a little situation where the engine cut off because it got salt water in it or something happened. yeah what salt happened? water splashed up into the vent because we started getting away i started getting waked plus it was yeah. like 20 knot winds yeah it which was i shouldn't really... have been out there on the dinghy to begin with but i thought i could beat it yeah. yeah but when the engine turned off it really didn't turn on back on because we kept getting well patrick got kept getting splashed i was in the boat with oliver and actually our neighbor from calico skies saw patrick trying to turn on the engine and then Rowing. taking trying to row but it was against the current and literally it was like 25 to 30 miles sustained winds to, um, not miles, not, and um, yeah, Patrick wasn't making any. He was actually starting to just go to the rocks and wait. He was gonna wait till till it got better to try and row back to the boat. And um, yeah, our friends from Calico Skies saw him and went over there. He's like, uh, "Do you want to tow back to your boat?" Because <laughs> he saw me up there, like, well. You're on your own because I have a paddle board, but then there's two of us that are gonna need towing back. So yeah, so it's like you know, let's not let's take it easy. We'll get more carburetor cleaner. We'll wait for it to dry. We'll fix it because you need a good, secure way of getting back and forth to shore, especially during bad weather. Even though during bad weather you shouldn't be out. No, I totally thought. I totally thought that I was <clears throat> I totally thought that I was gonna be able to beat that back. Um, it was it was like two o'clock or something like that and the winds weren't supposed to kick up till four so I'm like all right I'll do a couple water runs. Second water run I did I saw that I came back out and I'm like oh yeah no this is bad and it's still like an hour and a half early so it is what it is and Thank God that somebody was out paying attention and you know, that's a good thing about being in this lifestyle. People are always trying to help each other out and that's kind of why we pay it forward and we help anybody out when we see them. Whether it be tools, sometimes money, you know, or gas or fuel or helping them with a repair, you know, something. Even just no matter what it is. Yeah, it's not, I love that about this community that everybody is kind of like what I picture it to be in old times, you know, it's not about, it's not about money and who has what, it's about what you can trade. Like, hey, I need, you know, a ride to the store, or hey, I really can't walk two miles to the store, do you mind picking this up for me? 
um, because I don't know you could there was a lady that hurt her leg and she literally was trying to walk two miles with crutches no no bro like tell me what you need and not and I'll bring it to you which right. was your boat so you'll find that it, I love that about this lifestyle and um, I love the give-and-take yeah, I yeah. Really do. You give a little, you take a little, you're giving a little, you give a little, yeah. and it's just, it goes around you and around and around. Karma. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you give away, you pay it forward, and then when you need something, something happens. And you never turn down, never turn down an extra set of hands when somebody offers to help, because a lot of people no. just want to, they want to pay it forward, even if you don't need the help. Yeah. It's nice to pay it forward anyway. Just accept their help. It makes them feel like mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's part of their karma. They want to pay forward. So just let them. Yeah. Unless they're crazy or look like a serial killer. Yeah, they look like a serial killer, but I don't know what a serial killer is supposed to look like because... Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, wasn't he a nice guy? Right. That's how he got over his Yeah, victims. so don't trust nice people. Go with the scruffy looking cussing sailors that usually have a bottle of rum in their hands. <laughs> no, don't They're the do most that. trustworthy people ever. They'll be ever. like, I know how to fix that. Give me that duct tape. <laughs> hey, if you can't fix it, duck it. <laughs> no. No, right. no, no. All right, so we're, it looks like it's cleared out now. Now it's all nice and beautiful out here. Welcome to Florida. Yeah. So now yeah, we're going to go and try to fire up the dinghy. And if it doesn't fire up, then we'll be rowing the shore to go get our supplies. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. And do it. And do it. Do it. Do it. Here we come. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. So yeah, we try to find when we do go to go to a marina like today. Um, we stopped off at Dinner Key to get a little bit closer to West Marine to get that line that we needed and um, some other stuff. So we always try to look for something that has really good uh, facilities. And look at these showers. These things are nice. Hey, look at this. Yeah, that's gonna be really nice to take a nice, long, hot shower today. Maddie's up there unhooking us from the mooring ball. We're gonna be headed back over to uh, No Name. Are we free? Not yet. Ready whenever you are. Let it fly, baby. Free. Where's the mooring ball? Right here. Okay. There's the mooring ball. I'll make sure I'm not going to catch that rope. All clear. Bye bye, mooring. I'm gonna stay closer to the right than the left because I don't want to hit the mooring balls. Right. I'm sorry, baby. We got it though. I don't want that wind blowing us into the mooring balls. There's a tight squeeze getting out of here. Whoop, whoop. Yep. We're out. See you later, Dinner Key. Thank you for the great time. Thank you for the great time, Dinner Key. It was nice to take a break for a couple days, just two days. Take some hot showers, do some laundry, do some provisions, get some parts. I headed back over to No Name because uh, we get an hour head start on our day tomorrow. Roger that. Here we are, back in No Name Harbor back in we had to hurry up and make a drink and go apologize to some friends over there on our on the boat soul shine we were actually supposed to have dinner with them the night we ended up going to dinner key it but was really really bad storm we're really it, it would not have been safe our thingy was acting up 
So we knew we were gonna come back after we rebuild the carburetor and everything. So here we yeah. are. Yeah, so we're gonna go over there and have a drink and relax. We're all set for the night and we're good to go. So, yeah, same place, same holding. Right, it's about the same amount of chain and we're good to go. Yeah. So, yeah, what do we have out? We had out, we're at, yeah, 120 feet. So, yeah, should be fine. We got plenty of space between us and everybody else. So no matter which way we swing, we're clear. Hey, you can't really see it on camera, but this poor sport fisher back here, this poor sport fisher back here started yelling over the radio that somebody, one of their children, had untied their dinghy and it started flowing away. Like, yeah, you probably can't really tell. But yeah, it's really windy out here tonight. Some decent little swells going. So it didn't take it long to go from all the way over there to all the way over there. So yeah, they were able to get their dinghy off of the shore. Luckily it uh, hit the shoreline instead of uh, being pushed out to sea. Because that really would have stunk. Although they do have a sport fisher, they would have been able to eventually chase it down. But wow, what a painful, aggravating night for those folks. So here we are leaving No Name Harbor. Thank you, thank you, thank you for a very nice time in your town. And we are heading south to the keys ooh, ooh. patrick's taking the first shift today you guys ever nature can be very intimidating at times when you look at how there's a really long reef that comes all the way out here and when the waves crash against it it looks really intimidating as you're coming out but we're not going over there by the reef so it doesn't matter yeah let's stay here We hope for a safe passage, about um, nine hours or so. So we are hoping for smooth sailing, some wind, following seas, and Oliver's ready to go. Yeah, you are. Yeah, today we're headed to uh, Rodriguez Key. Our infamous nighttime squall dragging episode that almost made us sell the boat. I <laughs> wonder what the hell we were thinking about even being out here. This so, time's gonna be different. <clears throat> yeah, this time will be different. We learned a lot from it. Uh, we anchor a little bit different. And uh, we're just a little more conscious about how we anchor and where we anchor and, and diving and checking our anchor to make sure and that little yellow, that neon pink thing that we painted on the front of the anchor, actually we were able to see it here when we dropped anchor. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to see it again and make sure that it digs into some sand, not some grass. And we'll just hope for a good night. But we learned a lot, so we're done. These swells are really cool looking. Right? Oh. <laughs> They're far apart, so it's not uncomfortable, but as you can see, like you see them coming. I don't know if the camera does it justice. Probably not, but. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bye, baby. So we're gonna get ready to pull the sails here in a minute after we pass this next set of markers. And we'll be ready to go. Yeah. 